my name is Paula Deckers and I am the owner of the Northwest Bridal Showcase and today I am here with Roxanne Clark of Extra Special Cakes in Mount Vernon and one of the things that we're going to talk to you guys about today is wedding cakes and how to order them, what is the process, what's the time frame, how much time you need to go through that and just some general um, information about wedding cakes and other ideas that are kind of trending in the wedding scene um, in, in this time, well in 2015-2016. So what is the most important consideration in choosing a cake designer? The most important thing you want to consider when you're looking for a cake designer is someone that you can work with, that communicates well with you, and that can do the type of work that you're asking for. That you look at their pictures, and from looking at the pictures of work that they've done in the past, that, that you know and you're confident that they will be able to do the cake for you. Okay. So, and do you find that girls come in nowadays, um, a lot of times, uh, I've heard some of my other uh, vendors talk about uh, Pinterest boards, and so they set up a Pinterest board where a lot of ideas can be exchanged between, you know, perhaps the photographer, or in this instance, uh, cake, you know, cake specialist. Um, have girls come in and done that, like shown you pictures from Pinterest or Instagram? You bet. We get a lot of customers that come in, a lot of brides who um, have been looking at Pinterest for months and months and months before they ever come and order their cake. And so they, a lot of times, will have a pretty good idea of what they want. Um, and they might have several different ideas that we can put together in one cake for them to personalize it for them. Okay. And I'm assuming that uh, tastings are still a part of the cake ordering process. How does that work? You bet they are. Um, the brides need to call and make an appointment. Um, in the summertime, if you have a wedding in the summertime, you'll want to um, do the time frame of you know maybe four to six months ahead of time um, and go and taste cake for from your baker. Um, and they call and they set up an appointment. Um, and so then they get several different cake samples and they can bring family members. It could be a little party if they want. Oh, fun. Um, and yeah. then when they try cake, um, then they'll know whether they you know, want to order from you or not. Okay, and is there a fee involved with that? Or um, some places have fees. Okay. Um, we personally do not have a cake tasting fee. We feel like that's a part of the service that we offer, um, but some okay. places do. Okay, so that's good information to know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, and what is the time frame for ordering cake? You sort of talked about, um, you know, if you're having a summer wedding, four to six months out, and if it's an off-season wedding, one to two months is sufficient, but are there any other guidelines? Um, that's pretty much uh, the guideline you can go by. Um, just because in the Pacific Northwest, the weather is typically nicer in July, August, and September, so the heavier right. wedding months are within those months. Um, so you want to get your order in and started, you know, in plenty of time for that season. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, it is a busy time <laughs> during the summer months around here because that's the best time that, or the, the best weather we get. So okay. that makes perfect sense. All right. And in terms of how does the process of ordering a wedding and cake, what does that look like? So you talked a little bit about coming in with uh, some ideas, looking through some binders um, or, you know, photo albums, so to speak, and maybe tasting some cake samples. Uh, what else is involved in that process? Um, if, the, if the bride and the groom come in and they, and they taste cake, um, then after that, typically, I will sit down with them and draw them a sketch, and they can uh, figure out whether um, this, you know, whether the cake will work for them, whether it's what they want, um, and they also will figure out what cake goes with what filling at that time. So we always, um, in our company, we always take the cake and we put the filling on the side, so you can mix and match different cakes and different fillings together. Um, and that makes it really fun for people because sometimes they'll put things together that they never thought that they would even like. Oh, that's so, great so it idea. is fun. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like a party, and the, and the men generally like to come for the tasting. Of the food. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So then after that, we'll get the picture together. Um, we give them prices at that time, and then if that fits into their budget and they like what we have to offer, um, then most of our brides and grooms, when they come to the tasting, they will place an order. Um, and then we asked for 25% down. Okay. Um, and the balance is generally due for a lot of companies a month to three weeks out. Um, they can make changes to the size of the cake or flavors um, up until that three week period of time okay. before their wedding. And they can either up the size or, or make it smaller, however it works. Right, because they're, because they're basically waiting on RSVP sure. for the wedding. So yeah. sometimes things fluctuate. Yeah. All yep. right. 
Um, so my last question, Roxanne, and this is the best part, is what are some of the fun trends in cakes and or dessert buffets um, that are happening at weddings today? Well, it seems like the dessert buffets have really taken off in the last couple of years. Um, cupcakes are still pretty popular. Um, and also, you know, the big, beautiful wedding cakes. You can't really beat that for a show-stopping piece at your reception. <laughs> but, right. you know, um, yeah, there's lots of different kinds of desserts that we offer. Um, you know, brownies, lemon squares, chocolate truffles, okay. you know, different kinds of cookies. We also do pies and that type of thing for weddings, too. Do you have some pies at a wedding? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Occasionally, we will do pies for a wedding. Is, yeah, in the Pacific Northwest, we have so many awesome summer fruits, you know, that it, that makes sense to me. For so. sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So these are some really great tips for you. We hope that, um, you know, when you get out to actually meet your cake vendor, you will be able to use these uh, tips and questions for yourself and that, you know, maybe it'll save you a little time in the process. Um, thank you so much for your time today, Roxanne. And if you need a cake, feel free to contact Roxanne Clark at Extra Special Cakes in Mount Vernon. Thank you.